Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, some of you might have already noticed that I removed my previous MCP related video since it was not uh, accurate. So today I'm re recording it uh, using the lab documentation that was published by Microsoft uh, a few weeks back. Uh, so before I start this video, I do want to give a big shout out to uh, Daniel who documented the lab and Pooja for also helping uh, with this uh, setup uh, and providing guidance. So with that, uh, let's get started. Uh, before we look at the actual uh, demo, uh, let me share a few slides with you that I used in my previous video, just to level set our understanding of MCP. Um, so as shown before, uh, there are three key components to MCP server arch architecture. Um, we have the MCP host, which in this case would be Copilot Studio. Uh, it would connect to your MCP server, uh, which will be hosted in our case on Azure. Uh, and this MCP server uh, then calls out different tools. Uh, tools could be different REST endpoints or REC pipelines that you create based on uh, your use case. The connect also the connection between Copilot Studio and MCP server uh, is done using a uh, custom connector. Uh, so one of the questions that we get is, uh, so what's the difference between uh, MCP server and uh, custom connect connectors? Why would we need to create MCP server? So just to clarify that uh, I did put a slide um, to show what the difference is. Um, hopefully this helps uh, clear some of the doubts you might have. Um, so basically just to level set our understanding of what custom connector is, um, it's a wrapper around REST endpoints, which exposes um, every operation as a discrete action in Power Platform. Um, so you typically just import a open a, uh, API spec and create a custom connector that, that can be then leveraged with Copilot Studio or Power Apps that you create. Whereas in for MCP server, it's a service that's using um, a JSON RPC API that supports um, server uh, sent events. Uh, so this is useful for uh, scenarios where you need to stream information or you need to keep the connection open for a longer time where your server can send updates to your client as and when the information becomes available. Uh, in terms of like connection pattern for custom connector, it's a simple request response where you send a request and you get a response back. Um, there is no need for like streaming or waiting. So the connection is short lived. Um, whereas in MCP server, like I explained, it's a long lived uh, HTTP connection uh, where your connection remains open and the server can respond back with uh, information uh, and send up and update the client as and when uh, it it it's available. Uh, in terms of uh, authoring, um, custom connector uh, doesn't require any hosting. All you are doing is you're importing the open API spec to create the custom connector and it's ready to use. Whereas uh, for MCP server, you would have to first build it using the SDK, uh, either in Node or Python, uh, and then host it on, on a cloud, uh, using a cloud provider. In our case, we're gonna use Azure. Um, the other thing to uh, also uh, notice is um, if there is a change to the actual underlying API, when you are using custom connector, you will have to add it the connector um, in order to uh, get all the updates. Um, so you basically add it and republish it um, so that you have all the new uh, operations or endpoints available uh, to your apps or agents that you that are leveraging that custom connector. Whereas for MCP server, um, uh, Copilot Studio would be able to leverage the uh, updates uh, without um, you having to refresh anything on Copilot Studio side, as long as the MCP server um, is updated with the new tools, uh, it will be available to all the agents that are connected to that server. And lastly, for 
in terms of governance and security. So Custom Connector uses the um, Power Platform uh, security and governance guardrail. So it's using DLP policies, environment scoping, uh, everything that's provided as part of uh, governance setup in, uh, in Power Platform. Whereas for MCP server, um, you get some additional granular controls uh, since you're hosting it on um, on uh, on a cloud uh, or or on a server, you can configure additional um, uh, security controls. So, for example, if you're hosting on Azure, you can use uh, Azure Key Vault. You can do things like uh, configure IP allow list to only accept requests from certain IPs. Um, things like that. So you get more control, uh, which means you get best of both worlds. So you are getting additional controls, plus because you're using a custom connector to connect to MCP server from Copilot Studio, you can also leverage um, DLP policies, environment scoping. Um, so you get basically um, all the governance controls that are available to a connector, as well as um, you get uh, option to apply more granular controls using the Azure uh, uh, Azure controls there. Uh, and lastly, uh, custom connectors are typically created when you're just making a request response call. So integrating with other SaaS uh, applications to update things like status or ticket um, you just you don't need to uh, set up an MCP server for those scenarios. You could simply create a custom connector um, that uh, allows you to make a request and get get the updates or get the response back. Whereas for uh, things like um, AI tools where you you have like uh, rack pipelines or if you need uh, uh, f live data feeds coming from uh, your core systems like your pricing system or your stock info uh, stock. Uh, related information uh, where your connection needs to be open for a longer duration so that all the updates are pushed to clients. Um, that's when you would use MCP um, server. So it's good for um, uh, frequently evolving AI tool sets where um, uh, you want your agents to automatically discover all the tools that are available and then um, use them as needed. So that's that's when you would use MCP server. Um, also, I just listed out some of the common use cases. Um, I'm not going to drain this slide, but basically, if you just need a request response kind of setup, then you would just be creating a custom connector. But if you want um, uh, uh, to create a uh, create different AI tools and that you want to expose to your agent, then you would want to set up a MCP server so that it can be detected by all the agents that are using that server uh, uh, so that it's it eliminates the need of creating this integration uh, individually for every agent. So you can have all the updates uh, done on a single MCP server uh, that can be leveraged by all your agents. Um, so that's the... Um, uh, gist of, you know, when to use what. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's look at the lab that we have created. So again, um, a big shout out to uh, Daniel for putting this. Um, so he, I'll put this link in the description as well, but you can read through uh, all the details here. Uh, and this uh, lab would allow you to quickly set up a MCP server that's hosted on Azure. So this documentation is linked to um, this GitHub repository. So here you can see this is the repository we have created. Um, all you have to do is you can clone this repository by clicking on this button. So you can click on use this template, uh, which will allow you to create your own repository and copy all the code. Um, so in this uh, repo, the most important part is uh, if you go to the if you look at the source file, um, the index file has all the information. So here you can see we are importing the um, uh, SDK, um, and then 
if you scroll down, you can see the manifest here. So this, these, these are all the tools that are uh, available um, on this server, MCP server. And then the definition for each of the tool is um, below this. So you can see um, the definition for every tool that is mentioned here is over here. Um, so if you want to add a new tool, you can just edit this file here uh, and add your uh, own tool uh, to make any changes to this file. So now once you go back and click on use this template, create a new repository that this would uh, basically clone this and put all this all these files in your repo. Uh, the next step is to go to Azure portal. And here we need to set up a app service. So you can either uh, look for app service over here or you can search for it. So if you search for it, um, just type app service. It should be the first one here, click on it. Uh, you can select create um, web app and then uh, make sure you select a resource group if you have one if not you can create one um, give a name to your uh, server uh, the, your runtime stack in this specific example because we are using typescript um, would be a node uh, so you select the uh, runtime stack uh, as node um, and then choose the region that's closest to you so in my case i would select um, east us and with that, just simply uh, click on review and create. So once you do that, um, it will deploy uh, the app service. Um, so you have to just wait. It might take a few uh, minutes to spin up the app service. Once it's deployed, the next thing you need to do is uh, go to, once it's deployed, go to deployment center. And here uh, you'll have option of uh, connecting it to your GitHub. So in this case, you can see I've already connected, but all you have to do is um, from the drop down choose GitHub, and then you have to log in using your GitHub credential. So this allows you to set up um, your CI/CD pipeline so that you can push all the updates from GitHub to your um, Azure uh, server. Uh, so once that's done, uh, it what it does is it takes all the uh, files from GitHub and then it will host it on 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 Azure. Uh, once this is completed, um, next step is to create a custom connector. So in this documentation, uh, we also have uh, provided. You can see here if you click on this lab, there's also. Um, a open API spec. So let me just make sure I put the link um, right here. So this is the open a API specification file that you can use to create the connector. So all you have to do is basically copy this and then go to Power Platform, click on new custom connector, create from blank, give it a name. Uh, you can say MCP server v6, click on continue and then click on Swagger Editor, and then just copy paste the code that we just copied. Um, so this would set up your custom connector. The only change you need to make before you click on Create Connector is you need to replace the host URL. Uh, so the host URL in your case would be the URL of your web app. So in this case, if you go to overview uh, tab, you can simply copy this and then put it over here. So you just paste this here and then click on create connector. So once that's done, your connector would be published. Uh, in my case, I already have this here. So you can see once the connector is made available, you can then go back to uh, Copilot Studio uh, go to action and simply click on add an action and search for MCP. And you should find the custom connector that you have published. So in my case, you can see I have this my MCP server v5. Um, you just have to click on it and 
it will be added as an action to your agent. So now once you add this, um, you can start using it uh, with your agent. So in our case, because this MCP server has um, different tools that allow you to get uh, uh, different types of jokes. So in my case, if I say, uh, can you tell me a dad joke? So this would use the MCP server. So you can see here, you know, I just asked, tell me a dad joke and it's using that server uh, to come up with a joke. I can just say another one. And then it will use the same uh, MCP server to tell uh, the joke because it's one of the tools that is uh, part of the MCP server that we just deployed. So this is how you can uh, deploy a, a single MCP server that exposes different tool AI tools um, uh, for your agent. So this was a short video um, I wanted to uh share with you guys um let me know if you have any questions um or if you need any help uh setting this up uh, just let me know in the comments thanks for watching